I'm going to show you how to replace video clips using the PowerDirector Mobile Video Editor app. Let's switch it up. As you can see, I have some clips on the timeline and on the main track, I went ahead and placed some splits on the left and the right of this centerpiece because I don't want it. I want to put a different clip there to kind of switch the scene up a little bit. So in order to do that, you just tap on it to select it. Then you want to go down and tap on replace. Then you want to go to the location on your device where the video is. And you want to tap on the video and tap the plus sign. Now, if the video is longer than the section that you selected, it allows you to go ahead and select the part of the video that you want to show up during that time span. Then once you're done, go ahead and tap on back. And now you can see that that video has been replaced. And if we play this, you'll see that it goes from one scene to another scene and back to that scene. That can be used to make your videos more dynamic and change the perspective of things during a video. Now, not only can you use this feature on the main track, you can also use it on the overlay track. So if I tap on this video clip on the overlay track, you can see that there's actually some keyframes going on here. And if I scrub the timeline, it's gonna zoom in and then it's gonna zoom back out. Well, with this feature, if you add effects or keyframes to something and you switch the clip to another clip, it will actually add the effect that you had, the keyframe that you had to that new clip that you're replacing it with. So if you tap on the clip, go ahead and go to replace, tap on that, choose the video that you wanna use, tap on that video, tap the plus sign, once again, you want to select the segment of the video that you want to show up during the time span. Tap on back. And now you'll see that if we play this, the keyframes are still included in this clip and it'll zoom in and it'll stay there and then it'll zoom out. There are a lot of different ways to add dynamic cuts and splits to your videos and you can learn how to do that by watching this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my logo to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.